when you get your authorized.net login access and you log into their system you go to account and click on the link called address verification service or AVS I'm going to explain to you what these mean so you can have a better understanding how your system works when your customer enters their credit card on your website it goes through the address verification system the address verification system helps you avoid fraud by checking if the address matched with a cardholders billing address that the bank has on file so these are the different error messages that could occur and you can check mark if you want to avoid accepting the transaction if it has this particular error message so it says reject if the transaction was submitted without a billing address so you definitely don't want to accept the transaction if there is no address to verify against so you want to check mark that AVS data provided is invalid or AVS is not allowed for the card type that was used all these error messages are self-explanatory so you can make sense out of them and check mark the ones you believe you should leave check marked or uncheck marked the second part of it is if the address matches and the zip code doesn't match what do you want to do so the way the address verification system verifies the address is the street address it only takes the numbers not the street name the zip code is a five digit zip code and then you have the extended zip code that is optional to enter on the website so the way I accept the transaction is I say if there's no match in everything then decline it usually what ends up happening is if you have a match in a street address but not in the zip code maybe the cardholder put in the wrong zip code or the old zip code in some cases what happens is the cardholder moves to a new address but the credit card never changes the address to the new address that's why the zip code might match but the street doesn't or vice versa in some cases the whole address will not match but that doesn't always mean that this is a fraud it is best to contact the customer and see exactly what went wrong and maybe even call the customer's bank and verify if they have the correct address or not I left this particular check mark unchecked because I'd like to accept international orders it says the card issuing bank is a non-US origin and does not support AVS so the address verification system is only supported in the United States sometimes in Canada and sometimes the United Kingdom all other countries are not supporting the AVS which means if you have this check marked international customers will not be able to buy from your website the same thing for this last option the US card issuing bank does not support AVS so sometimes a credit card can be on the Cayman Islands which may be from a US customer and it does not support AVS so if you have this check mark the customer who is from Cayman Islands will not be able to buy from your website now if you recall from another tutorial I showed you that when you set up your credit cards that you can override a few rules when accepting credit cards so you can say domestic orders domestic is driven by your company address which usually will be United States you can say that you always want to charge their card and not authorize it or manual charge it for international orders even if the customer is international and an authorized.net you're gonna mark down that it's okay if they're international go ahead and charge their card in the system in the back office you can say that I want to do a manual charge when the customer tries to buy something so what's gonna end up happening is the customer is gonna put in their credit card information but it's not gonna actually charge them you'll have to do it manually or if you say authorize only that means that when the customer puts in their credit card you're gonna authorize the charge which means you're gonna ask the bank do they have money on this credit card and if they do they'll give you an authorization number to charge it but you're not gonna physically charge it you'll have to do it manually according to these rules and there's some other overrides that are a little different from authorized.net which give you a higher security against fraud